All right, everybody, welcome back. Quick update. Uh, turned all the lights off because I had to turn the circuit off to pull in the new wire. So all the lights are off right now and can't turn back on until we rewire them. But I got half of the wire pulled down to here. Um, still have to pull the wire over down to the switch box, down to these receptacles. Um, so I just did the, did the black, red, and blue circuit. Still have to pull like another couple blue circuits and some red circuits as well as the traveler wires. Um, and I accidentally pulled a black for the switch leg instead of the pink. So I'm gonna have to switch the black out for the pink wire that's up there. Um, but anyways, uh, we did, like I said, actually I didn't say it yet, but I took all the wire out from, from the first box, home run box, all the way to the end. Um, and then from there, pulled in the new wire and then I added an extension ring so I could close that one because it still has the live wires and that. Um, did a lot of research today. So these receptacles over here, circuit 30, um, I'm, I didn't do a full research, but I'm assuming they pipe between each other. I'm gonna check that out tomorrow. Um, so there's a little bit of research left to do there, but that is circuit 30, which goes up to the junction box over there which goes over to there, which is nice. So I'm gonna pull circuit 30 because that has to go tie into this box, which we added today, this little box between this box. Um, and then pulled in the new wire from there to the end, like I said, for the black, white, and ground for circuit 32. No. Anyways, I messed that up. So anyways, I don't know what I'm talking about at the moment, but uh, pull the wire down there. Um, that was for the lights actually, so that has to get changed to the pink, just to switch the black to the pink. Um, and then from there, pulled in the red and the blue from this first box, through the second box, to the third box, all the way down over to here. Um, so we pulled this in, took off these old receptacles of 28, um, pulled in a new circuit for 28, which is red, and then the blue for 36, because this is going to turn into 36. And... This one is turning into 36, the new one is 36, the old one is 28. So pull the new wire down to there. And then also the jumper over to here, because this is still gonna be 28 to there. So pull the 28 jumper, and then jumper between these two boxes. 36, um, which is gonna go splice right through up to the uh, switch box right here. Um, and that 36 is eventually going through the MC over to this guy right here, which is going up to there. We pulled the wire up to there for 36, so that one is completely done now. Um, just have to tie that through. Got some receptacles on finished with the, with the industrial raised. Still have to uh, make this one up, put the mud ring on it because this one is getting sheet rocked. So got those two done, that one done. And then all these ones along the wall are ready to go now. Those can get made up tomorrow. I'm going to be working by myself unless Steven works with me. We can pull some wire in here. Um, so that's exciting. I mean, obviously I'm going to need someone to pull wire up for these ones and then down the trunk line again. So hopefully he can help me out with that. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, lots of lots of research and notes today. And then started once I got all that done, then we started to pull wire and get stuff done. So... That's where I left off today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Love to see you guys back in the next video. Stay tuned for tomorrow. It's going to be exciting, hopefully. And uh, yeah, turn these lights back on tomorrow. Rewire the switch box over there. Put the dimmer switch in over there. It'll be a good time. So stay tuned tomorrow. See you guys then. God bless. Peace.